Hello everyone, welcome back to more FM16 with Manchester City. Um, as you can see, we are on quite a good run of form going into this latest episode, um, but some big matches coming up. We've got Chelsea, Arsenal and Liverpool, just as we did at the start of this episode. Uh, we are at the midpoint in the league season, so we're going to be playing some of the teams that we already have. But we've got, right at the end of the episode, that really important second leg against Watford in the Capital One Cup semi-final. We did win 2-0 at home, so we need to make sure we do the job away. Uh, we're also playing QPR away from home uh, in our first match, which is the FA Cup third round tie. So that is going to be a very important match to make sure that we're on to do that challenge of winning the quadruple. Um, I would like to do it this season. I always thought it would take three seasons to be in a, have our team in a shape to do it, but I think the team this year is good enough. You can see from the form, we did have a rough patch um, with a few defeats. But since then, we've really come leaps and bounds. And the last two episodes have been absolutely fantastic. So hopefully we can carry that through, beat a few of our near rivals in the league and progress in a couple of competitions. This is the team we're going to use today against QPR. They are a Premier League team, so we do have to take them seriously. So they're still Paul Pogba. Um, and our defence is pretty much full strength, except for Rob Agnoli at left back. Uh, resting a few players in the midfield, and Icardi's come in for Aguero up front. I still think that he can turn his form around and get a few goals this season. So hopefully today he can do that and get us a few goals to put us through. But we do have all our big players on the bench if we need them. Throw in from Rob Agnoli, picks up Paul Pogba. He's scored a few this season. He finds Joshua Kimmich instead, and he's lost possession. Now QPR can counter-attack. Don't have players flooding forward. In fact, they've just given the ball straight back to us. Can we create another chance here? Oh, we've given the ball away. Otter Mendy, what are you doing? He's made quite a few mistakes this season, getting sent off and allowing goals to go in. And that is just unacceptable. Still not managed to have a shot away. We are in control of possession, but here's Modest in behind. And Modest has scored again. It's 2-0 to QPR inside 30 minutes. And there needs to be an inquiry in our defence. I've made two substitutions after just 27 minutes. I'm so appalled with what's going on. Now, here's De Bruyne in one of the substitutes. We do have Aguero in the box too, but you can see QPR have had more possession than us, and I can't remember the last time that that actually happened in a match. That's how poor we've been. Paul Pogba now. We do try and get the goal back. Here's Sterling. He puts it across to De Bruyne, and the substitution has worked. I was worried some of our players might be upset about being taken off so early in the first half, but I, we had to make a change, and De Bruyne has shown that that change has worked. Here's Ron Magnoli. Just 10 minutes left for us to get back in this match. Can he find the ball in? He does put it in. Renato Sanchez finds De Bruyne. That was a loose touch from him, but Ron Magnoli's got half the pitch here if he can use it. He swings it in, and there's Smalling! Not Smalling, Sterling. <laughs> I was too excited in the moment and got the wrong player, but it doesn't matter. We're back on level terms. Thanks to Raheem Sterling, smashing the ball into an empty net. We've got 10 minutes now to try and flip this game on its head and win it. And there it is. It, is, it has finished 2-2. We haven't gone out of the FA Cup, and it looked like we would after 20 minutes of this match being 2-0 down, but we made a couple of substitutions at half-time that seemed to make the difference. Uh, brought Renato Sanchez in early in the second half, and we have managed to claw our way back into this competition. Um, and I'm pleased at the comeback, but we should never have been in that situation. At least we haven't uh, lost. We haven't lost morale. Uh, the comeback will definitely help morale. So hopefully we can win that return leg at home at the Etihad uh, in a few days' time. Back to his full strength side for this match against Chelsea, who we've uh, interestingly been drawn with in the FA Cup fourth round. So if we manage to get past QPR, we will be visiting Stamford Bridge in the fourth round, and that is going to be a very tough tie early in the competition. Um, most of our players are at a good fitness level for this game. It's only a few days after our match against QPR. Uh, Paul Pogba may be struggling and will have to come off later in the second half. But otherwise, everybody else should be able to see through the match if we need them to. Otamendi's trying to find Renato Sanchez over the defence. He's got through and he scored. He is such a cool customer, given he's only 19 years old. Fourth goal of the season. He is probably the best player I've bought so far in this save. Just need to keep the ball up this end of the pitch. Oh, cordrado has got pace. Otamendi gets across, finally doing something useful for us. Here's a long throw from Aspilicueta. 
throws it in, but there's Sanchez. That should be full time. Why isn't the referee blowing the whistle? Pedro shoots over the top, and that is it. We have got a very important win against Chelsea to give us the three points that we really needed. Not too many changes for our game away against West Ham at the Olympic Stadium. Uh, the big team news is that Sergio Aguero's injury two minutes into that game against Chelsea has ruled him out for up to six weeks. So Mario Riccardi, this is your time. You need to get us some goals because you've been very underwhelming so far. So much so that I might even start to play Ian Acho ahead of you. Um, Otherwise, a very full strength side going out here. Uh, we've got our replay with QPR following this match, but we are at home in that game, so I'm not too worried about resting players, despite what they did to us the last time we played. Um, and hopefully we can get a couple more good wins on the board. Corner from Silva into Otamendi. He makes up for his recent mistakes by giving us a lead here at the Olympic Stadium, and we have a 1-0 lead against the West Ham side yet to have a shot. Cresswell's tried to throw that in, but De Bruyne has stolen it. Back in possession here. Now can Dogbia. Playing the ball to the other side. And that slipped through to Icardi. And Icardi has scored. I told you before the game that we needed him to get the goals. And he has got his fourth goal of the season. As he steps in for the breach ahead of Aguero. And we're 2-0 up. West Ham have still not managed to have even one shot on goal. They are attacking here. And Will James Wilson through, and he scores with their first shot of the match. James Wilson out of nothing. A little ball over the top, and he's halved the deficit with one kick of the ball. Chance for West Ham late in the game. They've got Andy Carroll on up front. That's why they're lumping the ball into the box. But we're counter-attacking with David Silva. Cardi's carried his run. Trippier's gone through the back of Silva there, and he, that should be his second yellow. And they will be down to 10 men for their last 10 minutes of this match. There he is. Off the pitch. And we should be able to see out the rest of this match without too much trouble. David Silva with a free kick. Puts it in towards Barker. Just cleared away. Ron McNally. Yeah, ball clears away. And there is a full-time whistle. Another good win for the team. Away from home. Three more points will keep us at the top of the table. Here's how we're going to line up for this FA Cup third round replay at home against QPR. Not too many surprises in the, in the team. We are resting a few players with a big match against Liverpool in the league after this. Uh, all the big players on the bench. So if we do find ourselves 2-0 down inside 12 minutes again, we will be able to make the changes that can reverse the result. Corner from Florenzi. We've been creating lots of chances but not been clinical enough. Here's Ron McNally. Has another shot. And it's 1-0. Rom Agnoli with his second of the season. He's not been playing regularly for us, but he's a good rotation player. And we have the lead in this FA Cup match. QPR looking to respond straight away. We've been thoroughly in control of this game. Trying to crowd out their players, but they're still picking the passes. And now Modest. Kimmich's won it. Icardi can break. Sissoko with room and pace. Switches the flank brilliantly to Ron McNally. He picks out Sterling. Players in the middle. Finds Sissoko. And that is a good team counter-attack for 2-0. Coming with Sissoko down the right. He switches into Florenzi in a great position. There's Sterling. Ball out to Ron McNally. He can get a good cross there. And it's come for Sissoko. Poachers finish at the far post. 3-0 up. And we are comfortably into the next round. Looking for a fourth goal here. Ron Agnoli. He's got Sterling in plenty of space, but instead he goes back to John Stones. Just looking to keep possession. Switching it to the right flank. Zabaleta in a great position to cross. Oh, he's lost the ball to House. But there's Kimmich again. Ron Magnoli with loads of space. Can he get the ball in? He pulls it across to Florenzi. And there's Zabaleta coming in. And Sissoko! Musa Sissoko gets a hat-trick. I don't think he's ever done that before. 4-0 now, and that is much more how we should be playing. Nice 4-0, a very comprehensive performance and result. Getting that 4-0 scoreline, which will give us great confidence going into the match with Liverpool. Full-strength team being used at Anfield today. Juan Bernat's back in the team at left-back. Uh, De Bruyne and Silva returning on the wings. Otherwise, not much change, and I'm expecting a very good performance following the morale that should be carrying through that 4-0 result against QPR. 
So hopefully we can get a good performance against a good Liverpool team away from home and keep our position at the top of the table looking secure. Zabaleta, so Liverpool have been on top in the early exchanges. Sanchez to De Bruyne. And De Bruyne hit the inside of the post, but Icardi's there with a poacher's finish in the six-yard box, exactly where he should be. And we have the lead at Anfield. Another corner for Liverpool. It's been all Liverpool in the second half, but Joe Hart claims that ball very well. I'm not sure who he was aiming for there. But we've got the ball with Icardi, and he's released De Bruyne inside the defender. He's still going, De Bruyne beats another man and scores a brilliant individual goal. He did so well to get inside of his defender there and then break away from the second one and slot it past the keeper. And we are 2-0 up and surely taking the three points now. Corner in for Liverpool, straight into the arms of Joe Hart, and we have beaten Liverpool away at Anfield by two goals to nil, and it never looked in doubt. And here is the team for that crucial game away against Watford. It's a very strong team, but I don't want any slip-ups in this stage of the competition. We've got a big match with Chelsea in just a few days' time in the FA Cup, so we need to make sure that we beat Watford, uh, or at least don't lose, and then we can worry about how we tackle Chelsea in their next match. Watford looking to create their first shot on target. Their army finds Capu. Cleared out by Ron McNally. Pogba's there. Sanchez, can he slip through the ball? Steady pushes out to Zabaleta. He can cut inside, find De Bruyne. Ball into Icardi, and Icardi scores again, and he is finally finding his feet. Sixth goal of the season. I think that's almost as many as Aguero has actually managed, so... We're in good shape. We've got the away goal, 3-0 up, and definitely heading to the final. Kondogbia finds Pogba, looking for that second goal before half-time. Sanchez having a good run, finds Icardi, into Silva, back to Icardi, just behind him. But we've got the ball back now. De Bruyne has got Manfrey on the right. Zabaleta can whip it in from there. It's cleared out to Sanchez again. Another chance for Zabaleta. Puts it in, and Icardi's there again for 2-0. Mauro Icardi stepping up when we need him most. Capu with the ball over the top. Watford still in possession. Seferovic finds Joado, and they have got one goal back. They've got 35 minutes to find four more. Joado with the last-minute corner. Cleared out. Gets to the second ball. But that is all she wrote. We are going to Wembley yet again. A looking set to retain our Capital One Cup title and we will be playing against Tottenham in the final. They managed to beat Chelsea with a last minute goal from Suarez of all people. Mario Suarez I assume, not Luis Suarez. But if we have a look at how we're doing at the end of the January transfer window, we are top of the league. Game in hand against uh, A game in hand on United means that we should go three points clear again. Still in every competition. That final against Tottenham will be ex incredibly exciting, I have to say. And then we're playing Chelsea in our first match of next episode. Away from home at Stamford Bridge. That's probably the biggest challenge that we've got ahead of us looking at these fixtures. Um, but we'll also be playing a few good league games where we should be able to move ahead. That first knockout match of the Champions League at home against Arsenal. Again, a bit of time before we play Spurs in the final but it's definitely heating up. And that match with Chelsea, probably the most difficult match we'll have had so far this season in terms of our ability to do that quadruple. But our form has continued. Five wins and a draw from this episode. Very good form going into that match. So hopefully we can carry it on and get another victory against Chelsea. But that will be everything for this episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, do remember to subscribe. Drop a like on the video as well. Um, and until next time, See ya.